here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to share a couple ideas for packaging some special earrings and also some journals for your craft fair booths or wherever you like to sell your stuff. This video is brought to you by Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where they have all of your packaging needs. They have lots of great stuff. If they don't have it, you don't need it and you're going to get the best price and the highest quality there too. I love that shop. Okay, so what we're going to do first are these um, little earring cards with burlap in them and what I love is that they're really secure in there and so you don't need to have these inside a plastic bag if you don't want to. Now I have, I, I typically package my simple earrings like this and these are my five dollar earrings. These uh, take a little more time and a little more material so I want to sell them for probably around ten dollars and I want the packaging to be a little more special and I want there to be a real clear distinction between these earrings and my, you know, the simple beaded earrings like this which are also pretty but these, since they take more work, I want to, I want to be able to charge more for them. So to make these, it's super easy. What I'm going to do is use this four by six piece of paper. Actually, I think it's a little bit more than four by six. It's from one of these mat stacks. Love these because they're a nice thick cardstock weight and they're just fantastic. And what I'm going to do is fold this in half. And you can use a bone folder to get a extra crisp fold. Um, this is such a great way to use up some scraps too if you have some smaller pieces of scrap of paper hanging around. And then what I'm going to do is open it up and I'm going to make a window here. And I just want to try to center my little template here. And you could use a die cut, you could use um, a stencil trace and cut it out with a knife, whatever you have is fine. I'm just going to use my old creative memory cutter because it works just fine. And I'm going to cut out a window. Alright, now Paper Mart has this wonderful burlap by the roll and I actually have a little scrap of it here uh, because I always save my scraps because they're super handy. And what I'm going to do is use my little cutout as a template to cut my burlap a little bit larger. All right, I can probably trim that down a little bit. So I've got this a little bit larger than my little uh, than my little cut out there. You could use a paper punch too if you had any big paper punches. Now before I glue that in there, I am going to use a um, tabbed hole punch because I have a spinny rack that has like the uh, the hole punch tabs on there for you to put hole punch things. But it's got to be this kind of tab. Uh, but if you have just like a regular pegboard or you're just going to tack it onto a bulletin board, like that's what I do with these. I just tack these onto a bulletin board with earrings that are the same price. So so you could totally do that, but I'm going to put this on my spinny rack because I have a lot of space on that right now. And I am going to glue this here. You'll want to use hot glue because it's really going to grab that quickly. So go ahead and put some right around there. Now one of my viewers, Steph, sent me this really great tool. And it's like this little spatula with a silicone end, but you could use like a kitchen silicone spatula for this, but it's great because you can kind of flatten out that glue um, without burning your hands off. So we don't want to burn our hands off, do we? All right, so now we've got that stuck down. I am simply going to add some more glue so I can close this up and have it sealed. Now this is so pretty. You could actually, you know, gift, like give a gift, give this as a gift like this because it's so pretty. So what I often do is I'll write my price and my vendor number in pencil because I actually, I, I don't do that many craft fairs anymore. I rented a booth at an antique mall and I pretty much just put my stuff there and, uh, and leave it. And now if you write it in pencil, it can be erased by the customer. And I really don't think anybody's going to erase it in the booth. But, you know, that is something you might want to consider. Okay, so then to display our earrings, I am going to put... The, the hooks right through the mesh of the burlap and the great thing about this is you can actually move it around if you had like a mirror in your booth and you wanted um, somebody to be able to try on your earrings that would be really easy because it'd be easy to take these out and easy to put them right back but there you go it's just a fun way to display these it's very unique I haven't seen anybody else do this so but feel free to steal it because <laughs> I'm not selling it all online I'm just selling it in my in my booth and I think it's a fun idea and I will have a tutorial on making these earrings coming up soon on my channel so just uh just hang tight for that <laughs> that'll be up soon um okay so for these notebooks they're very easy and i showed you how to make these a few weeks ago they're so fun and they're very easy. So what I'm using is a clear cello bag from Paper Mart. These come in all sorts of sizes. The sizes I use the most are the um, six by nine because I can put in a um, a five by seven card, an A7 card, or I could also turn it on its side and put in a um, A2 card. I get these seven by sevens because sometimes they do six by six cards, and then I or sometimes all food items or um, odd shaped things like this, and they work good for that. And then I also get the little ATCs, which are three by five, I believe 
sleeve bags for like these earrings. So those are the sizes that I keep on hand. Uh, you may find different sizes to be more useful. So with a seven by seven bag, I'm just sliding in my little notebook and this was made with scrapbooking, old scrapbooking paper. Remember that tutorial? And then what I'm gonna do is just fold this down. Now, if you want to use like a paper tag, you could actually put your price tag in um, at this point. I'll fold this over. And then you want to find a paper that's going to look pretty with this. And I'm going to use the same st the same stack that I was just using. So let's see, I could use that. That green is nice. Why don't I just, oh, so is that pink. That's pretty too. I think I'll use this. I like that. Um, and I'm just going to tear that off and fold it in half. You probably know where I'm going with this. You can probably tell. Because <laughs> you're wicked smart. I know you are. I know you're wicked smart. All right, I'm going to do my little tab punch. Try to um, get it in the middle so it's going to hang straight. And of course, you know, if you just had a bin of these, like a basket of these, you wouldn't even have to put the topper on. I think the topper's kind of pretty. And since I'm going to hang it on my peg display, this is going to work out good for me. And I'm using just some double-sided tape here. And that's all there is to it. I can write a price on the, uh, on the label itself. I can, you know, put a a string label it doesn't really matter whatever you want to do for your pricing is absolutely fine oops I got a cat hair there or something and I'm just gonna set that down try to center it up and just press that down and there we have these little booklets all priced and ready to go well packaged anyways I'm still gonna write the prices so if you found that useful um, give that a try burlap is such a versatile material and if you like it for other home decor items and crafting and wrapping you're gonna have some left over so try making some of these little cards you could even use this idea to give a gift so if you made like a a, um, a greeting card a Christmas card for somebody you can make a little window put some burlap and you could hang an ornament or a um, or a pair of earrings or whatever you like it's just another fun way to display things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your crafty friends. I surely would appreciate it. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.